All right, so today I'm going to fake the death of Nathan Mueller um, by saying what I wish I would have said if I found out that he died and I never got the chance to tell him. So here we go. Nathan, um, you're always my right-hand man, dude. Uh, through thick and thin, when I was all up in my head and working on things and focused on forward so much, I'd forget to... I don't know, put my trousers on when I'd walk out of my room. You were always that guy that was like, okay, great plan, Sammy, but put your pants on. <laughs> and I always appreciated you for that, man. Um, I could always count on you to give me that critical feedback, even though I didn't always appreciate it, because uh, I want to do what I want to do. And you're like, mm-hmm, no, no, we're not doing it that way. Uh, you might want to do it like this instead. Uh, the days when I didn't want to go to church, sometimes you dragged me out of bed and... Uh, I will always remember you and me breaking in the dance floors at all the clubs we would go to and establishing that little clique that we had where we'd always run out and take care of all these different, you know, guys with us and, you know, the pool parties where we'd schmooze the hotel staff and bring down a, a, a stereo system or something like that. Then we'd, <laughs> we'd get everybody going down there at the pool and we hit the club and we get everybody going on the dance floor because you and me were a couple of goofballs. But anyway, man, I, uh, I cherish those times. I often look back on them when things get tough for me uh, and just remember, you know, just having a good time and living life at its fullest with you, man. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. And I just want you to know you made a difference to me, man. You really did. And uh, I'm always going to love you for it. So, all right, man, I hope this lands. We'll see you.